So you've copied your video clips off of the DVP cameras and saved them to your computer, and now you're ready to edit your movie in Pinnacle Studio. But how are you supposed to get your clips into Pinnacle? This quick tutorial will show you how to use the import feature. The very first time you open up Pinnacle, you may notice a sample movie is already here. To clear out the sample, you need to click on File, New, Movie. To pull your clips into Pinnacle so that you can start editing them, click the Import button in the upper left-hand corner. Be sure to select My Computer on the left-hand side because you're going to pull your clips from your computer. At this point, if you haven't already copied your clips off the camera and put them into a folder on your computer, you need to do that now, otherwise you won't have anything to import. So now you'll see a list of all the different drives on your computer. My students save all of their clips in a folder on the Cougar's Den in the Carpiac DVP folder. But none of these are listed as the Cougar's Den, so how do I tell which one is the Cougar's Den? If you go down to the Start menu of your computer and go to Computer or My Computer and scroll down, here on the left you'll see the same list of drives, but the, this time they're named and at the end of them you'll see a letter. So My Cougar's Den is the letter M. I believe on student stations it's the letter T so you'll have to check on your computer to make sure. For me, the Cougar's Den is the M drive. The Cougar's Den is probably the T drive on your computer. So now I can go back to Pinnacle and I know that new volume M is my Cougar's Den. So you will be clicking on new volume T, I'll click on new volume M. So click the plus out here. Then you'll notice that this is the Cougar's Den and you can scroll down until you find the Carpiac DVP folder. Click the plus. There should be a folder in here for your quarter, click the plus, and there should be a folder in here for your class, click the plus. There should also be a folder in here for the project that we're currently working on, click the plus, and here are all the group, um, group folders. You should have already created a folder with all of your group member names on it, and that is the place where you save all of your video clips from the camera, all of your background images, background files, sound effect files, mp3 music files, Everything that you need to edit should go into this folder so that you can import all of it from in Pinnacle. So I'm going to pick on one group and it's going to pull up all of their files. By default, everything is selected. So if you want to import everything all at once, that's totally fine. You can do that. You can also use the uncheck all and just go back through and select just the clips that you want to pull in to edit. For example, you'll notice my group here has a bunch of video clips they filmed in front of the green screen, as well as background images to put behind their actors, some sound effect files, and a song that they're using. So I might select these things as well. Once you've selected everything that you need to bring in and edit, you're going to click Start Import. You'll notice the import down here as it's working and all of your clips, sound effect files, background images, and everything then will appear up here and you're ready to edit. You can now pull your video clips down onto the tracks and start editing 